Corner, where every single week I bring you tips, highlights, and a challenge moving forward. So a couple years ago, Google came out with something called a Jamboard. It was super sweet. People could collaborate with different Google things in one place on an interactive whiteboard. The problem was it was about $5,000, so I kind of came to terms that it was never going to happen for me. However, a couple weeks ago, Google came out with Jamboard for educators, and our good friend Trey Breeden unlocked it for everyone in the district. So there's lots of different ways to use this, but I want to just show you how to open it up and find it since it's brand new. So you're going to go to your drive, and once you're there, you're going to go like you're going to add a Google Doc or something. You're going to go to more, and you'll see Jamboard as a new feature, thanks to Trey. So it looks a lot like Google Drawing. It's kind of a mashup of drawings and Google Slides. Um, so you can add different jams, as they call it here, which is totally my jam. So students can have their own jam. They can doodle together on one jam if they want. Um, different colors, of course. So this would be a good tool for labeling or drawing. You can also add sticky notes if you want to have students do different brainstorms, add their different ideas. They can use that sticky note feature. Um, and then another new feature that I really like is you can go to your drive and add different things from your drive to add to the jam. Um, so students can add their own ideas, their own inspirations to either the same jam or in a different jam. I'm saying jam a lot, but that's how it works. So it's super simple to use for you or for students in lots of different ways you can try it in your own classroom. So if you have questions, please let me know. I'd love to try it with you. Next, I want to highlight an awesome industry and career teacher, Dave, who is doing amazing things with Padlet with his students. And he's so fancy that he decided to do a screencast for you all so you could see what he's doing. What you see here um, on the screen is I have three columns. And these columns each represent a power tool that they were learning or have learned since I started using Padlet. And under each um tool uh, i have four boxes one of them talks about their notes uh, one of them is called safety and operation questions one of them is um, their score from the safety quiz and then finally is a video demo of them using the piece of equipment and talking through it um, so by using padlet um, I'm getting my students to the point where they're starting to create a portfolio. Um, they'll have a column for each power tool with certain requirements, and they'll also start posting pictures of their finished products. So thanks so much, Dave, for the great things that you're doing for students on a daily basis. He's also offered his help to anyone that wants to try this in their own classroom. So thanks so much, Dave. You rock. Lastly, my challenge this week is to enjoy the wonderful time off with your family that's coming up, and I will catch you guys in a few weeks.